Top of the morning to everybody. Okay, today, this lesson, we're going to go through some audio stuff. I want you to hear this real quick. Otro ejemplo. 2013, Toyota 4Runner. Este es el rojo metálico, un color precioso. You can tell it sounds awful. Um, part of the reason why it sounds so bad... El precio normal son 30,990. You can hear all that background noise and everything. Part of the reason is because when I shoot with this camera, my channels three and four are on the front mic, and so it's picking up all that audio. So let me turn off one and two, and you can hear just three and four on its own. Now, it's a good shotgun mic, so it gets a good forward sound, but it picks up everything else as well. So what I'm going to do is turn those off. And this, channel two here, is the mic that is on him. Um, it's pinned right up here on his lapel. So let's take a look at that. Now it sounds better, but it sounds very high, like kind of a strange phone sound. There's not a lot of bass. There's not a lot of dynamic in it. Um, you can still hear some background noise, not too much. It's also not very loud. So first thing I'm going to do is turn this up a bit. Actually, before I even turn it up, the first thing I'm going to do is equalize it. I want to add some bass to this because there is no bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up here in audio enhancements. I'm going to click on this right here, which is our equalizer. Now I'm going to go through the different settings so you can kind of hear them. What I'll do is I'll turn each one up and then down, and you can hear how it affects this particular audio. So I'll just let this play for a bit, and I'll go up for five seconds, down for five seconds. So here we go. La casa de Latino, su servidor Gustavo Muro, presentando todos los especiales de este fin de semana. Ven qué belleza tenemos aquí. Tenemos un 2013 Toyota 4Runner. El 4Runner es el SUV que hace la Toyota que se maneja sólido, se maneja potente. Este vehículo es de seis cilindros. Este es el SR5, el que viene bien equipado, con el Voice Activated Bluetooth. Tú le hablas al vehículo, el vehículo prácticamente te contesta, hace las llamadas que tú quieras, le puedes marcar a tus contactos. Automático, aire acondicionado, vidrios eléctricos, puertas eléctricas, certificado, garantía de motor y transmisión hasta las 100,000 millas. Lo mejor de todo es que este vehículo no vas a pagar el precio normal. El precio normal son 30,997. Este fin de semana llévatelo por solo 28,997. 28,997 por un vehículo de este tipo. Otro ejemplo. 2013 Toyota 4Runner. Este es el rojo metálico, un color precioso. Certificado, garantía de motor y transmisión hasta las 100,000 millas. Amigo, recuerda de preguntarnos por el reporte de Carfax. El reporte de Carfax te da el historial del vehículo. Si un vehículo fue, eh, tuvo un accidente mayor, no lo podemos certificar. No te lo vamos a vender, lo mandamos a la subasta. Pídenos el reporte de Carfax para que veas el historial del vehículo. Ven y manéjalo. Si no te gusta, no lo compres. Igual te regalamos una tarjeta de gasolina de 20 dólares. 2013, precio normal, 33,997. Este fin de semana, llévate esta belleza por solo 31,997. Buen precio para un vehículo de este tipo. Tenemos un 2012. Toyota Highlander, este es el Limited. El Limited es el, el de más lujo que hacen en los Highlanders. Este viene con interior de piel, con quemacocos, con sus rines más grandes de aluminio, con aire acondicionado atrás, certificada. Okay, now on this equalizer, you have a choice between 10 bands and 31 bands. It would take a long time to go through 31, but going through 10, you can hear some certain parts that, that kind of change the sound quite a bit. Like this right here, give it a little more full sound. This one right here added a lot of volume to it. So I could actually turn it down just a little bit. This one here. A little bit of it gave it some more full sound. This here added to the sound. Let's turn that down. Okay, so those are just some changes. Now, what I like to do on this particular thing is go in here and go to... I think I used Music Enhance. 
quieres un vehículo amplio, see how much louder it is? And what personas, I did was I turned these high-end ones down. Es un 2013 Toyota Sienna. Certificado, garantía hasta las 100,000 millas. Este vehículo and you have a nice, full-sounding sound to it. Solo 5,000 millas. You get a lot of good range to it. Lots of understandable noise. It's not difficult to hear. Okay. So that's all fine and good, but there's a couple spots where we really need to pay attention. Like right here. Watch, watch what happens to the volume right here. Ven y manéjalo. Si no te gusta, no lo compres. Igual te regalamos una tarjeta de gasolina de 25 dólares. He loves to mumble. So he talks real nice and loud like this, and then he starts going like this. Okay? For example, here's the price. 33,997. Este fin de semana, llévate esta belleza por solo 31,997. So it's really hard to hear him on those points. Okay? So what I'm going to do is if you go to filters or effects, and then go to audio, you can search for a different different filters and effects. So for audio, a particular one I like is compressor. Now what a compressor does is you notice, okay, there's a thing called dynamic range. Okay, I'm going to play this right here. See how loud the audio hits up here? And then it starts dropping down here. Then it hits up here again, and then it stays way down there. This is the dynamic range. So what I'm going to do is compress this dynamic range so that most of it hits within this area. Okay? So we grab this compressor and we drag it and we drop it onto here. And then if we click this little icon here, we can see the different effects of the compressor. Now by default, it's actually pretty good, but... No te lo vamos a vender. Lo mandamos a la subasta. Pídenos el reporte de Carfax para que veas el historial del vehículo. Ven y manéjalo. Si no te gusta, no lo compres. Igual te regalamos okay, una so tarjeta de gasolina. hitting right around here. And then it drops down here. But our dynamic range is now here. Okay? So let's turn up. Well, let's mess with this a little bit. Just so you know what you have. You have attack and release. Attack is how quickly the compression will take place. So when the audio gets up to a certain level, this is how quickly it will crunch it. The release is how long it will take to let this crunching go before it starts um, before it starts going to the next one. Okay? And these two settings are pretty okay. It's not a big deal. Okay? You have different circuits, but I'm just going to stay with platinum for this one. Um, okay, your ratio. This is how much compression takes place. So... Right now, let's just put this according to my audio meter, okay? Right now, negative 10 is going to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So when they get up there, it'll be, yeah, 2 to 1. So for every decibel that it has, it will drop it down 1 decibel. So for 10 decibels over, it'll bring it down to 5. Okay, so we can even bring this down further like this. There's a two, a 3.3. Now let's listen to it. Este es el rojo metálico, un color precioso. Let's go to this particular spot. Ready? Now remember, it's crunching the top end. Yeah, not there. That's not the spot. This is the spot. The prices. This is where he really shows dynamic range. Okay, so this is our hot spot. So now our dynamic range is. Quite a bit less. Now, that's not bad, but he's hitting on these lower ends. Let's let's go back to this right here. Solo He's hitting here at negative twelve. So our threshold is here at negative twenty, and we can bring it down or we can bring it up. But if I bring it down, well, here's our threshold here. It's at negative 20 here. So I'm going to bring it down to negative 30. You probably hear a lot more background noise, but... Precio normal, 33,997. Este fin de semana, llévate esta belleza por solo 31,997. Okay, so I brought it up just a little bit. I think I'm going to go back to negative 20, though, because I think it's bringing up too much of that background noise. Okay, 
Let's bring the ratio down a little further. See what happens. Dollars. 2013, precio normal 33,997. Este fin de semana llévate esta belleza por solo 31,997. Okay, it's gotten a little bit less. It's not so far down here anymore. Now it's around here, but our peak is way up here. Okay. Limiter threshold. This is extremely important. Actually, we'll go to gain first. I want to bring this lower volume up, so I'm going to bring the gain up. Precio normal, 33,997. I'm just paying attention to the lower volume. Por solo 31,997. Okay, a little hot, so let's bring it down to three. Este fin de semana, llévate esta belleza por solo 31,997. Okay, let's bring our threshold up a little bit too, because originally he was hitting at around negative 17. We're going to try to cut out some of that noise. Okay, good. Now, let's drop this down. And here's how we do this. This is a limiter threshold. What the limiter will do is it will prevent it from going up to a certain level. Okay, let's see what it does. Let's go a little bit higher. This is 1.0. Now let's just take it to zero because this limiter will take it right up to the negative six here. Precio normal 33,997. Este fin de semana lleva esta belleza por solo 31,997. Buen precio para un vehículo de este tipo. Okay, now what a limiter does, a lot of times a limiter is included into a compressor, but what a limiter does is it says, okay, the compressor is going like this. Okay, I'm going to get between here and here, I'll be normal. Or actually, between here and here, it'll be normal. But then when it gets here, I'm going to bring everything down. Okay? So we've raised the volume a bit so that it's up here, so that the low end is peaking up here. And then what it's doing is it's crushing the dynamic between here and here so that even though we raise the volume, our peak isn't way up here. It's actually peaking around here. So it brings this difference between high and low up and crunches it. And what a limiter does is it says, okay, once you get to this point, stop. You don't go any further than that. And so you can turn the volume up and it will decrease your dynamic range to here, for let's say. So I'm going to play this a little bit. 2013. Precio normal, 33,997. Este fin de semana, llévate esta belleza por solo 31,997. Buen precio para un vehículo de este. Okay, pretty good. We have another thing on here that I want to show you. It's called auto gain. Um, if you have this on, it will automatically bring up the levels and automatically bring down the levels depending on what this auto gain is. So we can turn it off and you can see what it does to the compressor. Now, what it was doing was when I was doing the compression before, it was bringing up the gain to automatically control it. So now I have to manually do it. Buen precio para un vehículo de este tipo. Tenemos un 2012 Toyota Highlander. Este es el limit. El limit so you can see what it's doing. Basically adjusting the volume. But an auto gain will adjust it according to what it needs to do. I don't really care for an auto gain, but that's what it'll do. It'll bring the bottom stuff up and bring the top stuff down according to what it needs to do. Knee. Watch what it does to the graph. It basically says, okay, everything from here to here, we'll kind of slowly bring it up and then here we'll bring it up. The knee, if you flatten it like this, it'll be, oh, this is normal, this is normal. Whoa, right at this point, it suddenly compresses. Most of the time, most people can't hear it, but it's just something to be aware of. All right. There's another effect in here, or another filter called a limiter, that basically just does the limiting portion. And you can bring everything up, and it will cut it off at a certain point. Limiters can kind of sound strange, so just be careful with them. Um, in fact, the release on here might be kind of long for this limiter, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it that way anyway. 
Now, the other thing I want to bring up is a, let's see if we have it here, a noise gate. Now, what this does is it cuts out any sound that goes below a certain threshold. And what I'm going to try to do is use it to get rid of the background noise. See how it cuts out everything at a certain point? Tenemos un 2012 Toyota Highlander. Este es el Limited. El Limited es el, el de más lujo que hacen en los Highlanders. Este viene con interior de piel, con quemacocos, con sus rines más grandes de aluminio. Con aire so we have different atrás. settings here that will allow us to do different things. We have a threshold that dictates when the noise gate is active. Certificada. Presión. Okay, let's take it down to negative 57. Okay, let's listen to this right here. You got that in the background. Where is that hitting? Just between negative 30 and negative 25. So, let's do negative 27, and you see that drop off there, right? Okay, and then you get this noise. All right, we don't want that noise, but... Let's see how it cuts it off immediately. Okay, reduction is... We're going to bring our reduction up a bit. Okay, we got an attack of one millisecond. If we bring it up, it won't cut it out so fast. Now, what our attack is, is when the limiter, or when the noise gate stops. So it's when it allows it back, okay? So we see this right here. This is being gated, just this part. But it's well, it's actually not being gated yet. Let's bring the attack down and bring the release down. Okay, this is being gated. You hear that? There's nothing there, okay? So this little section right here is gated. It's not gaining now, but... Okay. When we do this, it goes empty right here. Ready? Hear that? It's kind of tough to hear, but you can hear where it just completely drops out. You hear nothing here. Okay. If we mess with our attack, it won't affect this here, but it'll affect this here. Vehículo precioso impecable. Okay, it's a little slow on the punch. Let's bring it down a bit. Vehículo precioso impecable. Okay, that's good. Now let's mess with our release. What this will do is take the tail end here and extend it out a little bit so it doesn't sound so strange. Vehículo precioso. Let's make the release really long. Okay, now we can see that whole noise is brought back. Vehículo precioso. Okay, let's bring it down some. Vehículo precioso impecable. Good. Antia de motor y transmisión. Vehículo precioso impecable. Seis cilindros con su uh, con sus rines de aluminio con interior de eh, Automático, aire acondicionado, vidrios eléctricos, puertas eléctricas, certificado. Me emociona al ver un vehículo así. 1,500 millas, ahorrate un dineral. Ven y llévatelo por solo 28,997. ¿Escuchas? The only problem with noise gates is when people are talking as much as he is and they, they're as dynamic as he is when they speak, is it sounds like it cuts them off all the time. So I'm actually going to remove this noise gate from this particular one, but they're useful with people that will talk kind of similar to the way I do, where I'm talking and I'm not always saying something. There's parts where I'm really quiet. So during those times, 
that's when a noise gate will come up when you don't want it to when you don't want your limiter or your compressor to be bringing the noise up actually what we could do is put the noise gate in before the compressor and see how it sounds con su uh, con sus rines de aluminio con interior de eh, automático aire acondicionado vidrios eléctricos puertas eléctricas certificado me emociona al ver un vehículo así 1500 millas a Okay, so I think having the noise gate before the compressor might be a little bit better of an idea. Um, it doesn't sound so strange. It sounds a little bit better once it's there. But for this particular thing and with all the noise and everything that's going on, a noise gate might not be a good idea. So I'm going to remove it. Seis cilindros, and I think automático. it sounds better. Air conditioned in front, air conditioned atrás, capacidad para siete personas. Vean qué precio. Okay, so that was a quick lesson in equalizing using this little icon here um, and using compressors and noise gates and what they do and how they can affect your audio. So just wanted to give you that little wrap up here and um, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching.